All right, so this is the story of when I met Robert Plant in uh, Madeira a couple years ago. Uh, just a quick backstory: I was a huge uh, Zeppelin fanatic, uh, still am, but more so back then. Uh, I had several hundred of their live bootlegs, uh, read every single book I could find about the band, uh, and pretty much spent my late teens and early 20s getting high and tripping out to their music, uh, you know, dissecting every single live performance, every riff, every drum fill, uh, and I was pretty much obsessed with the band. Um, and of all the places to run into Robert Plant, I never expected he'd be in my small hometown, uh, the island of Madeira. So I saw him on the street, uh, started kind of walking behind him like, is that him? Uh, and he turned around to uh, look at a car that was driving past and saw me. And I went, Robert Plant, is that you? And he immediately put out his hand and said, uh, how are you doing? Yes, it's me, Robert Plant. Uh, I asked him what uh, what he was doing here. He said he went to the island to uh, to relax. Asked me a bit about the uh, the history of it. You know, was commenting on how uh, people there were a lot friend friendlier than in mainland Portugal. Uh, that he was having a great time. Uh, we started talking about music, and I said, "Well, I love everything you've you've ever done." And he said, "Well, yeah. I mean, you know, with Zeppelin, we were uh, we were the best band in the world for about seven and a half years." Uh, nobody could touch us. It was amazing. When we were playing live on stage, it was it was electric. Um, but after seven and a half years, it kind of started getting a bit dark, and uh, you know the music died before even before John died, and you can hear it in those last albums. I said, well, I don't know. Presence is still amazing, you know. He said, well, yeah, but physical graffiti is is uh, kind of where I did my best work. I'm really proud of uh, some of those songs still, you know, Kashmir, In the Light. I really love those. Uh, and he spoke uh, a lot about John Bond, and he said, I, you know, I still miss John every day. We grew up together. We were we were friends. Um, I'm actually putting up a statue in his hometown in uh, Birmingham, uh, and I still see his kid every day. Uh, you know, I really miss him. I really miss him. And um, he'd uh, he'd come from dinner, and he told me he had a couple of bottles of uh, Portuguese wine. Oh, your wine is really good. Uh, so he was a bit tipsy, and he was asking me, uh, "Is there any bar around here that I can go to where they'll uh, you know let me do my thing?" And I said, "What are you talking about, Rob Plant? What does that mean?" <laughs> and he goes, uh, "You know, do my thing." And he starts singing the uh, the opening of Whole Lot of Love. You need cooling. Uh, and it was amazing. I loved it. It sounded great, and he was just singing to me alone in the middle of the street. It's like a dream come true to a Zeppelin fanatic. Um, this picture that you guys see, I'm wearing this black jacket. Underneath that, I actually happen to be wearing a Zeppelin II shirt, you know, the cover of the uh, of the second album, uh, which I, I didn't dare reveal to him because uh, he probably would have thought I was a psycho. Uh, and also, I know he doesn't really like the early Zeppelin stuff that much anymore. Uh, so I recommended him some some bars. I said, oh, there's this really nice one uh, by the beach, lovely view. Uh, I think you'd really enjoy it. And it's not too expensive. <laughs> and then I kicked myself for the next couple of minutes, you know, thinking, I mean, this guy's a millionaire. What the fuck does he care if it's expensive or not? Uh, but he said, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the recommendation. Uh, I asked him to take a picture, and he was like, yeah, of course, sure. Uh, he was with uh, a blonde woman, uh, must have been his date, I don't know, who was kind enough to take a picture of us. Uh, he asked me my name, asked me if I was a musician as well. I said, yeah, what kind of stuff? And I said, well, I'm I'm basically trying to rip off what you do. Uh, and he said, well, how's that going? I said, well, not, not great. <laughs> um and yeah, he gave me a handshake. Said it was nice to meet you. Um, thank you for uh, for letting me know about uh, the island. And then he went off into the night to, uh, I guess, do his thing. I really enjoyed um, listening to him speak about John Bonham. Uh, you know, kept saying that he was the best drummer that he'd played with, uh, maybe the best drummer of all time. There was nobody like him. Uh, you know, you could tell that he really loved uh, John. Uh, and yeah, Robert Plant was a really friendly, humble, like inviting guy. Uh, absolutely made my night. This was a, a dream come true for, for Zephead.